Welcome to my tutorial for the best settings for ScreenFlow on the Mac. First off, you want to open ScreenFlow. I already have it opened here. As you can see, I have a little sample video down the bottom. And once you've finished doing your little snippets and editing over here, can't do too much on ScreenFlow, but it's just good for fast-paced uh, rendering and recording for your videos for YouTube. So what you want to do first is hit File, Export. You can see it has a default as web high. You can see mine is the old screen flow. So if you have a web high best quality here, I highly suggest you click that. It will be instead of this one here, but I don't have it because it is the old one. But if you do, click that and not keep it as web high. But if you have the old one, keep it as web high. And what you want to click is customize to start. And this will open up. And you want to click settings. If you have it at H.264, keep it as that. And then you click on it and it changes it automatically to 24 frames. You want to keep it as that. And you want to change this to best. Alright, and that's all you have to do for that bit. And then you click OK. Then you want to go into filter. And make sure that this is on none. Then you want to go to size and change it to 1280 times 720 HD. This will make it full HD in YouTube. You might notice on some videos that you can get 1080p, but you can't actually render like that with 1920 times 1080. It's just for some programs, but it really doesn't make too much difference. So if you want a bigger file, I suggest you can do this for other things in YouTube, but keep it as this for really YouTube, because most people don't even watch in 720p, but uh, if some people do, it's best to have 720p as well. So you keep this, and then it still makes the 360p worth watching and still looks good. So you want to click on 1280 times 720 HD. And then you leave all this. And you want to click OK. Then you want to go into your settings for your sound. Keep this as 44.100 KHZ. And keep it as AAC, stereo left and right. Quality, better. Do not change it to best, as you can see here, because it will make your audio lag. But you do want to keep best for the video, but for some reason, the best on the sound settings does make it lag for any target bit rate. And then you want to change this to 192. That means they can sync with each other, the better in the 192, so it can look a lot better and be like in sync with all your video and the other settings. Then you want to click OK. And that's it for this. You want to keep it at fast start, not any of this. And then people forget to do this, but you have to click scale to custom size. And then you want to change this to 1280 times 720. Well, oh, whoops, 720. And you don't want to click any of these other things. You can click use motion blur, just make your video look a bit more professional. But I don't really always suggest doing that. And one last thing, when you're in the customize page and you want a smaller file format, you can change this to high. Uh, high and best really do change how big the file is at the end. So if you have a maybe uh, not a big download quota, you can put it back to high and it will take off some megabytes at the end. Sometimes I like to do that to so some videos which don't need the best quality, but for now, if you want the best render settings, keep it at best. And then you can click OK and export to what you want. You can change the name to something that relates to your video so you can remember it for YouTube. And thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any more suggestions for tutorials, leave a comment and leave a like and share it around if you enjoyed. From now, you can just click export. And that's it. I'll see you guys later.